Hollywood Sun by Kansas. So we're going to go through these. This might take a little while because there's quite a lot of riffs involved. Riff number one. I'll play it, then I'll break it down for you. Riff number one. So, fifth fret to third fret on the low E string. And then back up to the fifth fret. Then we're going to play the third fret on the A. Then we're going to do that again, but instead of the third fret on the A, the note we're going to play is going to be the fifth fret on the A. So you get. So yeah. Then what we're going to do is we're going to slide this fifth fret on the um, on the, uh, D, uh, the D note, which is on the A string. We're going to slide it up to the seventh fret. Then we're going to play the fifth fret on the D. Back to the seventh fret on the A. Down to the fifth fret on the A. Down to the third fret. So that bit goes. Then we're going to play fifth fret on the A string. So the third fret on the low E. Back to the fifth fret on the A. To the second fret on the low E. So you get. So play that again. Second riff. Low E string twice. Nice and straightforward. Then we're going to play the 12th fret on the D, G and B strings twice. With a little slide coming off that. Which you get. And this little fill lick that goes in between. Very cool. Which is the low E string open. 5th fret then 7th fret on the low E. Then we're going to flatten our first finger and play the 5th fret on the A and then the D. Back to the A string 5th fret to the 7th fret. So you get... This time we hit the low E string twice. Dom, dom. And we're going to play the 14th fret on the D, G, B strings and then come back to the 12th and then do our fill licks we're going to get then there's a lead line uh, I'm not going to do the lead lines in this particular video, I'm just going to show you the riffs um, and what's going on underneath the uh, lead line is that. That's what's occurring there. Um, it's then going to bring us to uh, the, the verse section, uh, which is a kind of acoustic y sounding thing. So, if you just bear with me a second while I try to make my guitar a little bit less distorted, we get this. So, if I just run through what I did there, I'm playing an A minor, which is going to be the seventh fret on the D string. 5th fret on the G, 5th fret on the B, like so. So I'm just picking through 1, 2, 3, 4, or 1 and 2 and. Then I'm going to come down and I'm going to play 5 on the D, 4 on the G, 5 on the B, which kind of is a, depending on your way of looking at it, it's either an E minor chord or it's a C major 7. I think it's probably a C major 7 in this instance. So I'm getting... And then we're going to play uh, a funny F major 7, 
which is going to be the third fret on the D string, second fret on the G, and fifth fret on the B. Now what you may notice here is that this note has been constant through every one of these chord shapes we're getting. Back to that. So yeah. Noise and confusion. Then we're going to go up to a D minor, and what we're going to do there is we're going to play 7 on the D, uh, 7 on the G, 6 on the B. So I'm kind of forming an A minor shape there. Uh, with my index finger, 3. The next chord is going to be a D. Which is going to, uh, sorry, C, which is going to be 5, 5, 5 here on the B, G, and so you can just, if you play the D minor part like this, you can just have this finger flat, so you go, and then you're going to slide down two frets to the third fret, back up to the fifth fret. And this time, instead of going down to the third fret, we're going to play five, four, three, which gives us a kind of a G chord. So you get. Into the chorus. What's going on here? So we're going to play an A kind of chord, like an A sus, it's kind of based around the A minor, but we're just going to play ah, da, da. So we're going to go those ones, then what you're going to do is you're going to get the second fret on the A string, and walk into the third, so you get so that's like looking like a C. That's an open G string, that's it. Then you're going to change to a lower part of a G chord here. Now the fun one. We're going to change to what looks like an F power chord. First fret, low E, third fret, third fret on the D and G strings. But uh, D and B, uh, D and A strings. You're going to leave the G string open. Gives us this. The second tail on this one's going to go second fret on the G string, open G string, open D string, second fret, which brings you down the G. So I'll just play that slowly. Now I'm going to do the sort of the middle riff, uh, which is based off the A minor pentatonic, which will give you most of the riffs for this tune. I think there probably is one more riff, but it's just a key change. Um, now this one is fun. You're going to be playing the A minor pentatonic, which is your most of you, I imagine, know by this point. It's quite quick. It's going to go. That's the lick. So. 5th fret on the low E, you're going to move immediately up to the 7 on the D, pull off to the 5th. Same thing on the A string, so you're going to get... Then you're going to get the 8th fret on the low E, to the 5th fret, back up to the 8th fret, and then you're going to go to the 5th fret of the D. So you get... Then you're going to play the 3rd fret of the low E string, up to the 5th fret, so 
D power chord, fifth fret on the A, seventh fret on the D. Slide back two frets to give you a C power chord. So. And then you do it again, but this time the ending is just slightly different. You're going to go. Which is just a hit. Instead of going. Um, you're just going to stay on the D. So, yeah. And let's just take one more riff on there, which is this off beat thing, which goes. So, what are we doing there? I'm going to hit the low E string, open, because this whole thing's pretty much an E. Then I'm going to hit the seventh fret on the A string, which is also the note of E. Then the fifth fret, then the fourth fret. And the seventh fret of the low E. Then I'm going to go down to the fifth fret on the low E. Then the third fret. And I'm kind of thinking in these terms of like a, a, a G power chord. So when I get to this third fret, I'm going to play the fifth fret on the A string and the fifth fret on the uh, D. So you get. Sorry. Now, beat wise, apart from the low E, when it's open, everything is on the off beat. So if you were counting this, you'd be counting one and two and three and four and, and all those notes are falling on the and. So you're getting one and two and. The second part of that goes which is to play the low E string, 7th fret on the A, 5th fret, 4th, 7th down on the uh, uh, low E which is the note B, and you're going to go to the 5th fret on the A, and then you're going to play 2, 3, 4, and then to three on the A string, so you get. And that brings you back into the. And I believe the. goes on underneath the, the guitar solos as well. So this is the majority of the riffs. Uh, it's a long song, so the video, this video in particular, has taken a little bit of time just to run through those riffs as quickly as I have. If you need to recap on any of them, Rewind is your best friend here. Go for it.